What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. This is a main story mission called Bury the Hatchet. I have done it numerous times from essentially Michael's perspective. But this time I did it from Trevor's perspective. And it's far more interesting. So if you're going to do the mission, enter the house where Michael and Trevor get in a discussion and an argument as Trevor. And you'll get to play it from his perspective. Again, far more interesting than Michael's. And I believe this is a great mission because it shows the relationship between Trevor and Michael and how contentious it always has really been. And it's just come out to a head in this mission. So let's get on with Barry the Hatchet. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. <sighs> Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer, you know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. That's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job, and then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'M YOUR FUCKING NIGHTMARE! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Now this is interesting. Trevor goes driving off in Michael's car. And if you play from Michael's perspective, Trevor goes off driving in his truck and Michael has to get to the main airport and not follow him to Sandy Shores Airport in order to get to their final destination, which is North Yankton. Again, this is interesting. So I'm going to fast forward Trevor's journey to the airport because he's having a conversation with Michael and then when we get to it 
Um, yeah, I'm just going to fast forward the journey from here to Trevor's Airport and Sandy Shores. After his conversation with Michael, Trevor calls Ron to have an airplane ready for him to fly to, I believe it's North Yankton and wherever they had originally had the, the arm, armored car place robbery. So, yeah, I'll fast forward more to where Trevor takes off. Yeah, this is definitely more interesting than doing it from Michael's perspective. Michael gets to the airport, and he is immediately then cut screen to, yeah, I believe it's North Yankton. I'm probably wrong. Feel free to comment on this. But we have to have Trevor fly to his destination, which, again, this is way more interesting than doing it from Michael's perspective. Again, I recommend if you do this mission, don't do it from Michael's perspective. This is far more interesting. And yeah, I'm going to fast forward the flight to North Yankton and where Trevor arrives at his destination. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? If it happens in the dark, it comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there! Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin. Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Joe Phillips! Mr. Joe has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Can out! Well, the order is get in the car, which means you have to get Michael to 
his original vehicle. You should be fleeing and not trying to, um, how shall I say, uh, fight through the Chinese, which I'm doing at this point, picking up their weapons and using mine where I can. Yeah, this sucks. And again, you should be getting to the car because if you don't, something bad eventually happens. Michael died, mission failed. Well, yeah, I shouldn't have tried to kill all the Chinese because they just keep coming and you don't get to escape. That's what I really didn't like too much about this mission was there's no way for Michael to really escape. So he's going to fight through the Chinese with the mission of getting to his car. And I'll show you how he does that. 
Michael is captured, but that is not the end of the mission. Trevor has to fly home. If you play from Michael's perspective, you still show Trevor flying home, and he gets a call from the uh, Chinese guy about how he has Trevor's wife or whatever. It's a very interesting conversation. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips. This is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? 
Still learning the ropes. Thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right. That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Trevor just abandoned Michael to his fate. I guess he feels that some form of justice because Trevor feels Michael had abandoned Trevor to his fate, leaving him to think Michael was dead and Brad was in prison, but that is Michael's problem. He also gets a contact from Lamar about delivering the vehicles to the rich people or whatever it is, and they'll meet at Franklin's crib. So let's get on with the finaling, finishing of this mission where Trevor lands and mission is complete. Mission complete. Trevor, oh wait, parachutes will now automatically equip when using helicopters or planes. Awesome. Won't have to buy them or find them somewhere. But I digress. Mission is complete. If you like this video, found it informative, hit the thumbs up button and please feel free to comment. I try to respond to all comments. If you like this type of mission, I post or this type of video, I post four of them a week. And you want to hit the subscribe button and bell icon and stay informed. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.